Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Okay. Y'all know the election is right around the corner, and it's a whole lot of y'all that plan on staying in America and think that you're going to bend America to our will when they're stacking the courts. It's almost like, yeah, you can win the battle, but we're going to win the war. And unfortunately, a lot of y'all haven't lived long enough to even understand it. And even with all the respect that I have for Yvette and Tone from Tone Talks, and um, this is a real turning point in our history. And if you think, anybody think, you know, and of course we all can be wrong. I can be wrong. But I'm going to come out right because I keep saying I'm I'm stacking my chips right now. And I, I've made up my mind that I don't want to stay here in America. So that um, I, I, you know, I've come across that for myself. The thing is, when you look at what we are accustomed to and what we know in America, it's all going to change anyway. It is, we were constantly a moving people. And um, the Americas are going back to what started them because they got nowhere to go. The originality came from us. So they really got nowhere to go but to put us back in chains, literally. Um, <laughs> and I know a lot of y'all said, oh, I ain't going in no chain. I ain't going in. Yeah, well, when you're working up and down those highways and you're in the judicial system and you caught up in it, you back in chains. You're in storage. Sad part is we've gotten so spoiled, and myself included, so I'm not exempting myself from this conversation. This is, in my opinion, what Willie Lynch meant when he said you're going to keep them perpetually miserable. Because you would think with all the folks that we have, we got some of the most brilliant people. Hell, we created this nation. The whole We gave everything to the world. So the capabilities are there for these brilliant black architects, brilliant black chiefs, heads of state. We pass presidencies. We're, we're talking about paramounts. See? And that's the rich history that we come from. So now, even with the 13 million that we have here, in my opinion, it's so much hypocrisy going on that you will never get to the bottom of it. A lot of y'all got mad because I said what I said about Ice Cube. Or got mad what I said. And I don't trust nobody because I didn't seen too many backstabbers. I just didn't seen it. Now, I'm not necessarily saying he won. I just, in my opinion, from show business, my opinion, from what that game is all about. Let me tell you something. It's show and it's business. And a lot of us that like to show, that business side of it is real, real, real shysty. It's real deep. And a lot of us can't handle that one. And I still stand by what I said about longevity and remaining relevant. You know somebody and they're giving you money and you can get some. And they're going to call you out when you, when the time is needed. Kanye West, for instance. He running for president. Okay, y'all want to call him psychotic, but his job is to cycle, uh votes over to Donald Trump to take him away from Joe Biden. And I don't give a damn about either one of these white men. But I just, personally, I played enough politics. I done been to jail for politics. So a lot of y'all talk politics, but you ain't been to jail for politics. Okay? I have. And so has my dad. But I will tell you this. I ain't going to jail for politics no more. I bet you that. I'm trying to get to the Gambia somewhere and drink me some beet juice and go pull some mangoes out the trees. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not getting ready to play no more. So, but, but for those of y'all who want to keep dealing with this craziness and black people so scattered that 
We so confused that we can't eat. Are you talking about unity? Oh, I trust him. I trust him. But then when you find out, okay, Kanye got PPE money, didn't he? He got uh, 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 Ice Cube got his money, his Trump money, didn't he? Uh-huh. See, when you start talking about that shit, and then you then, then there's really no loyalty. Because, see, money rules this shit here in America. And everybody, they'll sell their own mama out. They'll kill the woman and the baby because they want to keep that money. This is a cesspool. And on a spiritual level, I'm tired of even doing business like that. Some of these same mansions that I see in Hollywood costing uh, millions and millions and millions of dollars. I'm looking at places on a continent that are twice as beautiful that are, and not even a fraction of what that shit costs. And then I ain't got to get up every day and see Tuba and don't have to worry about the police chasing me down the street. If I decide to drive, if it's going to be my last outing with, uh, because they're going to shoot me or one of my cousins or one of my nephews or one of my brothers. I mean, I'm tired of all the stress, that particular type of stress. And we don't get it. Those of us that's going to stay here and we don't want to participate in, a, in, in what it takes to be an American, which is the voting process. I mean, what are you here for then? Why don't you get the hell on out? Then you tell somebody else, well, don't vote, don't vote, they don't mean shit, don't mean shit. Don't Why are you here? Because if you think you finna overthrow the government, what you think you the Mau Mau or somebody, you think you're gonna overthrow this government? You better think again. Not the richest and the uh, most um, powerful military in the uh, history of mankind. Get real. Okay? I ain't even chasing that game with y'all no more. The bottom line is, all the people y'all love, get, look at 50 Cent. <laughs> I ain't got no problem with Chelsea at all. But you mean tell me it took her? Look at, look at us, black people. Look at us. We are perpetually miserable, just like Willie Lynch said. A long time ago. You don't got to worry about them. They'll be infighting forever. You know, say what you want to say about Roland Martin, but he knows politics and he knows his stuff. He's a value to us. Just like Yvette and Tone is a value and Sandy Darity a value. And we can't even put our arms around nothing to get something because everybody want to be the head. H-N-I-C. In this America. Well, it's sad. And then you see brother like Grandmaster J, then you want to hate on him. As if we don't need nobody to defend us. As if we shouldn't join up. You young men out here that's shooting up on the streets, you don't want to be disciplined. You'll run, but you'll run to that white man's army. That white man's Navy, Air Force. And you're scared to protect your own babies. Your own people. But you will go kill somebody for that man. When I think of the state of the human family, I cry. I weep. Y'all can say what you want. Because we don't get it. And Dr. King still says something that I'll never forget. And when I heard it as a kid, it resonated. There are certain things that resonate. It resonated to me what Anne Frank said. I don't care if y'all don't like it. Yeah, the little white girl, Anne Frank. Out of all the shit that was happening to her, and they were hiding in that attic. She had the nerve 
still trust in us, in humanity. That's powerful, y'all. That's powerful. Or Dr. King said, either we going to learn to live as brothers, we ain't got to love each other, but we're going to respect each other, or we're going to perish as fools. We're doing a good job, y'all. We're doing a great job. Let me, let me, let me, hold on. Or for us, a little Wayne. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, these people are embarrassments. They're embarrassments to us, you know. And they got us so stupid. You know, we got to, we the only group that have to have rap music to represent us. And all these great minds and brilliant minds, they relegate us to, oh, yeah, I listen to Atomic Dog. And, oh, yeah, I smoke and listen. I'm Jamaican. You know, what is the? Y'all not embarrassed and humiliated by this? That's why I said, uh, uh I need a change of scenery, um, for real, you know. And I don't know how long I'm gonna stay, but I do know the goal is to at least go there for, um, you know, a couple weeks, see how that works out. Um, come back home and. If it's something that I think that is doable, I I can't even take the stress no more of being here with um with a bunch of people who are so brilliant that can't figure out they from a hole in the ground. So, you know, if the shoe fits, wear it, and I want you to wear it good. With that being said, family, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna be uh try to do this live stream tonight too. Um, I think it was six o'clock that we did it last time. Let's uh get on board and um let's let me uh touch base with y'all and see how y'all doing out there. I sure loved it last week and I would love to do it again if y'all out there and uh holler at me. Let me know if y'all wanna uh talk. If not, I'm still gonna do it and then you can just stop by. I just gotta get some stuff off my chest. Okay, I love you, family. And go out and make it a great Friday. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.